It's something every parent fears and it's in the headlines a lot these days. A child goes for a night out with friends and is never seen alive again. One teenager's killers kept a secret for more than 40 years until one man gave it up. 48 Hours correspondent Richard Schlesinger reports on the newly solved case of John McCabe. Evelyn McCabe has come to her son's grave nearly every day, rain or shine, for more than 40 years. It was September 26, 1969, when she saw John for the last time. I, I don't think I've had a whole night's sleep since it's happened. If it's not too painful, can you tell me about his last day? Went to a dance, his second dance. John McCabe was just 15 years old, and he couldn't wait for the big Friday night dance. Took a shower, scrubbed his hair, and he didn't shave, but his father had to shave on. Oh yeah, he got all spruced up. 11 o'clock, I started looking out the window. That's when the dance closes. He should be home by midnight. So I went down to the dance and checked the road, screaming out the window, John! John! No, John. I started praying at that point. The morning after John went missing, children playing in a vacant lot discovered something nobody should have to see. Which was the body of John McCabe. He had been bound and gagged and tied with rope. Former District Attorney Jerry Leone took on the case in 2007. You go back to the first days after the murder, this might have been a dispute between teenagers. It might have involved a girl. It might have involved drinking. Whoever knew about John's killing kept this secret for over 40 years. Well, I was a senior in high school. Were you fearful? Yes. They hadn't caught the people that killed my brother. Did you think when you looked at kids in your classes, maybe it's him, maybe yes. it's him? Maybe it was them. Maybe they knew something. How could they not know anything? The McCabe family was left without answers for decades. Is it also this is it. I pray every day justice will be served. There was only one way this case was going to be solved. Do you solemnly swear that... And how old were you in 1969? 17. And that's if someone came forward and talked. How do you know how John McCabe died? I was there. Richard Schlesinger joins us now. Good morning, Richard. So Good morning. Who was that who finally confessed and why? His name was Edward Allen Brown, and he had been on the police radar for about 40 years when they finally zeroed back in on him. And, you know, we probably never know why. It might have been his conscience. It might have been anything. But he uh, confessed that he was there when two teenagers killed uh, John McCabe way back in 69. What was the motive? Oldest motive in the book, Charlie. It was, uh, it was jealousy, uh, teenage jealousy over a girl. Uh, the theory is they wanted to teach John McCabe a lesson. Uh, they got carried away um, and ended up killing him. I just keep thinking about his mother going to the grave almost every day for 40 years. Can I just tell you something? Evelyn McCabe is one of the most remarkable people I have met in my, I don't want to say how many years of doing this. Um, it, you, you need to watch this woman. This is a, she's a, she's a, a model of courage and grace and she just hang, hung in there and saw this through. Strong woman, strong woman. Thanks, Richard, so much. You can see Richard's full report, The Pact, tomorrow night on 48 Hours. It's the second of back-to-back -back broadcasts starting at 9, 8 central here on CBS.